Hi everyone, I'm here for video blog four. Um, I found this week's new conference very interesting. Um, you know, I like complex cases, so I found it, you know, interesting to hear all of the diagnoses, all of the testing, everything that was involved with the client. Um, I think one big takeaway from this week's new conference was to not be afraid to admit that you don't know something. And if you don't know something, um, you know, kind of learning where you go to um, like find the information you need. So like she was saying, don't be afraid to Google something. Google is your best friend. You're not expected to know everything in the medical field as a speech language pathologist or audiologist, you know. Um, we have our resources for a reason. We have each other for a reason as a resource. So just not being afraid to use those. Um, what can I learn for future clients? Um, I think just applying that. I think, you know, I'm interested in sort of the medical aspects. So there probably is gonna be some medicines, some diagnoses that I'm not familiar with. So um, I think just not being afraid to get my feet dirty and do some research before working with a client. Um, so I think that's how I can apply it in the future. What I found difficult was that um, like there was so much going on with the client. It seems like you don't know what to target like at once. Um, there was like the behavior issues, there was the the speech issues, um, like what do you target first? So I think that's the difficult part of it that, you know, as we grow as professionals, we can try to figure out um, which is the most appropriate to target first. But um, as a beginning clinician, that's what I found difficult. Um, and what was exciting? I found it exciting that she did make progress with it and um, she's communicating effectively with different AAC devices. I mean, that's that's our job. So I think it's exciting to hear that, um, you know, we help a client so much from going to not speaking at all, not communicating at all, um, to using many different devices to get her wants and needs across. So I think it's exciting to see um, what we do, you know, in action. Um, gives us some motivation to get through grad school, midterms, everything. So, um, Yay for video blog four. And I showed my dog last time, but I got a puppy since then. So there he is. <laughs> Bye, everybody.